One more. Life can be really beautiful. Perfect. Even if every frame isn't quite perfect. No, no you'll come here, actually. La Samoa is a photographer who loves capturing <laughs> happy moments because they remind her of how far she's come from her worst. So on July 20th, 2012, my fiance AJ and I went to the Dark Knight Rises movie in Aurora, Colorado at the Century 16 Theater. 10 years ago, La Samoa and AJ Boyk were sitting near the front of the movie theater when a shooter came in. The emergency exit door opened up and I could see this like black silhouette of a guy. And AJ grabbed my hand and was like, we need to leave. And then when I realized that AJ was unresponsive, whether it was whatever was thrown into the room, in that canister, whatever, I thought he fainted. AJ was shot twice. He was 18 when he was killed. Someone was stripped from me completely. And I didn't even get to say bye. I think that's what's kind of hard too, is like I didn't get to say goodbye, you know? When words were hard to speak, La Samoa found comfort in writing. But yeah, journaling really just helps me get it all out. She wrote to AJ. This is the second time I've come to your gravesite since And she wrote buried. to a war police officers who responded to the shooting. If this is what I'm feeling, having lost someone, doing something innocent, like watching a movie, what is, what are they doing? Where are they at? Are they okay? Yeah, I, I can see where 10 years have passed by and- Officer Cody Lanier got one of those letters. Cody was La Samoa's former school resource officer at Gateway High. She saw him the night of the shooting, helping families find loved ones. I told him to help me find AJ because I was desperate. <laughs> and I had this person in front of me approaching me where is my boyfriend? And he was like running through, running through and name after name. Learned after he was name. not on any of the hospital lists. And he couldn't find his name on any of the lists. It felt almost like I had failed her in a way. La Samoa didn't see it that way. Yeah, this is a letter I wrote for Cody. So she showed Cody why his work that night mattered. Double space, Times New Roman, just like they taught us. <laughs> uh, Officer Cody Lanier. I know I wrote a letter to the Aurora Police Department as a unit a couple months ago, but I wanted to write one specifically for right. you. I don't think I made it through three sentences in that thing, your. and I'm tearing up. I appreciate all of the work you put forth on July 20th. We lived a traumatic experience that no one person, regardless of their age, should have to deal with. Her note included a photo. Taken either by the Aurora Sentinel or Denver Post. When Cody saw it, he knew it was taken right after he told AJ's mom her son probably didn't survive. I didn't know that when I found this photo. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's Cody. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, he was at the high school. I remember standing in the doorway of my car and just looking. I think that's the moral of the story. Like, not every photo is pretty, you know? Like, not every photo means a good thing. Even with the bad, came something good. That night sparked a new friendship. And she kind of let me see the side of things that really had not thought about before. Oh, he helped me see like a guiding light almost. It was kind of like ground yourself and move forward. But she allowed me to kind of look at life in a way like, you get one time through, one time. Their connection helped them heal. Perfect, right there. As La Samoa continued to lean on photography. Photography was my way of like grounding myself and remembering things. Mental health stuff is huge, right? This helps me mental health wise too. Cody picked up weights to work through his trauma. And as the years went by, Beautiful. the friends relied on each other more and became stronger together. I think La kind of filled this Gap. He was just always like the buddy, my best friend. Pretty sure there's not a thing I want to do where she's not involved. And then I'm like, uh oh, I think he's a lot more than my best friend. <laughs> this is a photo of Cody and I at Lake Como, um, our most recent trip to Montana. Um, I think it just happened so naturally that I don't even think anything more of it. Of all the photos she's taken, her favorite ones are of her new family. Um, so this is Cody. Um, this is my stepdaughter, Ashlyn, my stepdaughter, Michaela, and myself. Yeah, so Cody and I, on October 3rd, got married in Silverthorne, Colorado. Best day of my life. <laughs> it's strange, yeah. Sometimes I stop and think about it, and I'm like, whoa, you were, like, able to find love again. Isn't that a trip? That is a trip. 
funny. <laughs> She's my best friend, man. Like we joke all the time. It's like I get a sleepover with my best friend all the time. My it's, favorite it's weirdo. They became husband and wife less than a year ago. Whoa, what? <laughs> Even they can't believe it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Awesome. I know it's crazy. Who knew? I didn't. <sighs> Beauty from ashes, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, like I said, I don't know what I would do without her. Look how clear it is, man. The family Los Moa and Cody have created shows how far they've come. Totally a crazy journey. I've been through this, I've been through that, and life is still happening. They know their life hasn't been picture perfect. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, hold on, we got one more. But it led them to moments like this. There's a few, boom. Five skips, I'm good for three. La Samoa and Cody have now been to a dozen movies together. They always sit in the same spot, very back row, far right corner. Today on Instagram, La Samoa wrote another letter to AJ. Part of it read, I don't know if you had any intentions of leading him to me, but I really appreciate you sending him to me if you did.